Welcome to Letters to My People, the biggest opinions on the smallest channel. Saying the things that your favorite YouTubers wish they could say, but can't. Now lately I've been watching a lot of travel and expat videos in the black sector of YouTube, and I'm noticing there's always some tension or drama. Recently I seen a Saint in the Center get into it with Black Man Travels. I also seen um, some traveling brothers get into it with each other on different social media platforms, as well as some other buffoonery. Now in this day and age, I I'm, I'm seeing a ton of young, as well as older brothers traveling or living abroad. And um, you know, it, it, it's funny to me because you know, when I, when I was coming up, I would mostly see black folks who are in the military do traveling. Now, some of us who have um, baby boomer parents, whether you be a Gen Xer like myself or a millennial, um, for the most part, um, black folks tended to travel just to see their relatives and it'd be no more than a six hour drive or an occasional flight across the country. Now, um, it's interesting in this day and age, you're starting to see an abundance of black men traveling who aren't in the military. In fact, you're starting to see young black people and some older black people travel or live abroad, period, regardless if they're in the military or not. But as some of us who are black Americans or foundational Americans or ADOS or whatever label that you want to wear. As we go overseas and um, put our boots on the ground and these different foreign lands, um, I noticed that some of these brothers are, they have problems leaving the matrix. It's like their, their bodies physically in the Philippines or Brazil or in Colombia, or the DR, but their mind hasn't left America. It's still in America. So it, it just it just it just disturbs me when I see you know certain brothers go over to say like Colombia or the DR, and they go over there and they um making it rain, throwing paper in the club and all that to these chicks or bringing up money to chicks and they don't even bring up money and doing all this chicken stuff and, you know, or doing stuff and just, okay, you wanna get away from American women, um, you're on vacation, you make a, you make, um, a certain level of, um, you're in a certain tax bracket. So you have all this play money and you're throwing it up, but you know what you're doing? You know exactly what you're doing. You're contaminating the atmosphere. That's what you're doing. You're, you're bringing poison. You're bringing the same poison that you claim you want to get away from to another environment. So guess what? Within a good maybe five or 10 years time or whatever, how long it takes to contaminate these places you choose to go, a place like a Dominican Republic, a place like a Colombia, a place like Brazil is just going to be um, America slash DR. It's going to be America slash Colombia, America slash Philippines. You're, you're not you're not you're not really making this better for other brothers who have yet to go over there. You're just making things a bit worse for us. So I know what you're saying. Well, you know something? You're de-policing. You're pocket watching. I'm not telling you how you could spend your money. I'm not telling you how you should spend your time or who to be with. I mean, if you want to trick, do that. But if you're going to trick, be discreet about your tricking. Don't put it all out on front street. Don't put pictures out there of you say, oh, look, this is this girl and I got her for something, something pesos. It's like what Snoop Dogg said. 
The game is to be sold, not told. You're telling the game. If you're going to go out to these certain countries and be a sugar daddy or a trick, be discreet about it. Don't put it out on front street. It's your money at the end of the day. And two, be mindful of how you move in these countries. Because I know some of you are on that individual tip. But you know something? Us as black men, we can't be individuals. We're always judged in a group space. So whatever you do, wherever you go, that's a reflection on me. That's a reflection on other brothers who go over to these places and may want and may have may want to be genuine about doing something. But guess what? If you know that brother goes over there and that and the, and that person's perception is how the previous brothers acted when they were over there, that's not gonna be a good look for all of us, man. So you got you gotta keep this all in perspective at the end of the day. So I ain't gonna really go too long-winded into this video, but I just feel that, you know, um, there's, there's just certain ways we have to move when we go to different places outside of the country or outside of the matrix. And for the brothers that know better, um, props to you. And um, this concludes my editorial on is the passport space in black YouTube becoming toxic? Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. One love.